What's good with you? What's good, people? What's going on? How is everybody doing? I guess you guys had a wonderful trading week. And I guess you guys are preparing yourselves for the next trading week. This is Topoy Harlem, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be our weekly outlook for the coming week. Before I get any further with the video, make sure you smash the like button. You subscribe to the channel. You share the video. You comment to the video. You click the links to sign up with the broker that I use. If you're looking for a legitimate forex trading course, you know what to do. If you want to check out my daily life vlogs to see how I live and to see how I've been living, I've left my links right there. You can just click on the links and watch on the videos, right? So, I don't want to say much, but I just want to do more, right? So, our first pay will be simply the next, right? You guys know that this is one of our important pays that we trade, right? So, structure of the NAS, we are in a clean downtrend, right? The price is in a clean downtrend. With price being in a clean downtrend, we have violated this previous low, right? We've violated this low that led price into giving us all this all time highs, right? So, for the coming week, all that I'll be waiting for, all that I'll be looking for now is to see that uh, from a more major resistance, are we going to vote to break to be bearish, right? To be bullish. Or are we going to get a violation of our resistance? Or are we going to get a violation of our resistance to be bearish, right? So in some terms, we stay above. We stay above our resistance, we be bullish. But if we get a violation below, we be bearish, right? Or if price stays above this intraday zones so that we have printed out, might still continue out. You guys get that. But for now, I simply want to tell you guys to wait for confirmation to see that on our major resistance, are we going to get a violation to be bearish or will price fall to break above to fail to break below and we stay above to be bullish? That will be it. Do you guys understand that? So, second pay to be looking at is gold. Even on gold, I'm also waiting for confirmation because we have this high, we have this high, and we have this rejection of high. <laughs> The price still needs to violate, right? So I'm also waiting for confirmation to see that will price violate all those highs to continue moving up or from price giving us this support. So are we gonna have a fall to break? Are we gonna have a fall to break below the support to be bullish? Or are we gonna get a violation of the support to be bearish, right? But my point here is to just let you guys focus on what this high this high and this rejection high that we've printed out. If we can get price trading above this highs, we continue bullish. Or if price breaks or if price sells off and we come to our support and we have a vote to break, we can simply be bullish above our support. But if we get a violation of the support, then I guess we'd have to be bearish below in the support. Do you guys get that? That's why I'm also doing what? Waiting for confirmation on gold because there's too many confluences and too many things that I need to focus on. But the main one is if we can get a violation of our highs, we continue up. Or if price, or if price gets to our support and we get a full to break of support, we bullish. But if we can get a violation or a break below support, then we simply go down and be bearish. Do you guys get that? As simple as it has to be, that's how profitable you guys have to be. Do you guys get that? So we move to the other pay that we're looking at is um, USD CAD. So USD CAD, you can clearly see that price has given us a very possible, it's given us this possible head and shoulders pretty right? You can tell that price is printing about a possible head and shoulders. So obviously you guys know how to trade on head and shoulders, right? But for now, my trade idea will be very simple. We're having a possible head and shoulders. We're simply waiting for what? We're simply waiting for price to be below our neckline so we can do it, so we can be bearish. You guys get that because from every low and the second low, the price is printed out. In order for us to get about, in order for us to get confirmation that this is a head and shoulders, let's get to what? Let's get price trading below. Let's get what? a break below the support, right? And price comes back for retest. And once we stay below the support, then we anticipate that that was a simple break and we just let's do it. Let's continue moving to the downside of price. And that will be it. Do you guys get that? But my trade idea is very simple. We're having a possible head and shoulders. We're simply looking forward for price to be below our neckline so we can sell. If price 
push us to the upside and violates our world, our major resistance. Then I guess with that, we we'll also have to be bold, we'll have to be bullish. But for now, we're having a person with head and shoulders. Let's focus on what we price violating our lows or our neckline or our support so we can continue bearish. Do you guys get that? So other pay that we're focusing on will be Tesla. Too. So when you look at Tesla, guys, Price has printed up this low. The ones have created this low, right? And when you look at our current price, price has violated that very same low. We chose to be low with this very same low, right? So for the coming week, because I'm waiting for what I'm waiting for confirmation. I'm waiting to see that from price breaking below the low, are we gonna have a retest and continue moving to the downside? Or is price going to push to the upside and stay above the slow and never reach this above so we can be bullish? I just don't know. But I'm simply waiting for two things. When I say I'm waiting for confirmation, are we going to give a, a retest of this soul to be bullish? To be, are we going to retest of this soul to continue bearish? Or will price have a break above and a retest above so we can look to be bullish? We just don't know for now. That's why I also say we're waiting for confirmation. Do you guys get that? So we move right. Last but not least, last but not least, we're having Bitcoin, right? So Bitcoin, I also don't have much to say, but you guys know that this is our major all-time high resistance. And this, I just some um intraday lows as price is printing out. So obviously, we're having our all-time high resistance and we're having intraday lows, right? So if we can get a violation of this um, major resistance, we can continue up. Or if we get a violation of this intraday lows, we continue down. If we fail to break, we be bullish. If we fail to break, if we fail to break above, we be bearish. If we fail to break below, we be bullish. And that will be it. Because we know that this is our major resistance. And this is just some intraday lows that price is printing out and planning to break below. If we can fail to break above the soul, we can be bearish. If we fail to break below the lows, we can be bullish. If we get a break below the lows, we continue bearish. If we get a break above this resistance, we continue bullish. Do you guys get that? I'm not saying much. I'm not saying less. I'm not looking for much. I'm not looking for less. Just keeping it the way it has to be. So this will be my trade idea for the coming week and our weekly outlook. We're not looking for much. We're not looking for less. Are we going to get a violation of our zones or are we going to have a photo break of those zones? That's what we're waiting for. If we're getting violations, we either be bullish or be bearish based on where price is breaking out. If we get a photo break, we'll still be bullish or bearish based on where price is beginning to break above or below. Do you guys get that? Without further ado, do people this will be harder. So like that on this video, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love.